Hello, I'm Patrick Fontan. I'm an educational psychologist and the developer of CHESS, the computer software for the Rorschach Comprehensive System. And I'm very excited today because I have three major announcements to make in this video. First of all, with Anna Donikov and other colleagues, we came up with the idea about two years ago that the time has come for us to propose a revision for the comprehensive system. Fortunately enough, we've been able to make contact with Andrea Pridi, John Exner's daughter, who is now running Rocha workshops. We presented her with our ideas and finally we've been able to sign a contract with Rocha workshops for the development of what is going to be the Comprehensive System Revised or CSR. We are currently working on administration procedures, scoring criterion and interpretation algorithm of the Comprehensive System Revised. However, one of the main points of the revision is that on the one hand, many normative data have been published for the CS in different countries, while on the other hand, it is not possible for psychologists today to use this very extensive normative information in their daily clinical practice. We think that the comprehensive system should now meet the standards of any other major psychological test and propose national standardized norms for psychologists to use in their clinical practice in accordance with cross-cultural recommendations set by institutions such as APA or ITC, the International Test Commission. There was technical and statistical challenges to make this happen because of the very nature of Rorschach variables, but fortunately I came up with the idea of a computational technique that I've called norm simulation to address this challenge. In this video I do not present this technique in detail, it will be explained in workshops and books. The bottom line is that tomorrow psychologists will be able to use CS national norms with the comprehensive system revised and chess 2. Chess 2 will be the new official computer program for the CSR and it is based on the same principle and ethics than the first version. It will be a regular program installed directly on the computer and it does not work with Excel anymore. It will be available for PCs and this is new also for Mac computers and psychologists will be able to save their data on the computer and manage the security and confidentiality of their data for themselves. Basically, all the changes and revisions that we are putting into the systems will be made available and ready to use directly in chess 2 we added some new codes, we revised some constellations and indices, and also we added new interactive location maps. For example, here is the main location map of card 1, and people will be able to click on locations in the computer. And here is the secondary location map of card 1, and you can see, for example, that space locations are indicated with shadings. We also updated the structural summary itself to make it even more user-friendly than it is today and we added new supplementary scales. Finally, psychologists will be able to select the norms they want to use in their practice. This means, for example, that the Japanese psychologist will be able to compare the results of the Japanese patient or client to the Japanese norms for the CS. This is one of the main objectives of the International Rorschach Institute. I presented you with the CSR and CHESS 2, but I didn't tell you who we are. The CSR and CHESS 2 are huge projects, so it was necessary for us to build up a new structure for the development of this project. So, one year ago, with some colleagues of the Comprehensive System International Rocha Association, XIRA, we decided to create the International Rocha Institute. The members of the Institute are Arnold Donikov from France, Fiorella Gazzali and Daniela Nicodemo from Italy, 
Kinger Jensen from Denmark, Christian Mormon from Belgium, Noriko Nakamura for the Japan, Jason Smith for the United States, and Eva Weinberger from Israel. As for myself, I currently serve as the president of the Institute, and you can find our biographies on our website. The current main objectives of the Institute is the release of the CSR and CHESS II, obviously, and we want to present this at the Centenary Congress in Geneva. We have other long-term objectives, but hey, that's all for today, that's enough. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to uh, the Institute newsletter if you want to be updated about the CSR, CHESS II, workshops and everything, and see you next time.